Hey! No, I said, are you ready? Welcome to Between the Ropes. I felt I'd uh, go a little epic to begin. What's going on, Jeff? Not much. How about you? I am outstanding. So, yes, welcome to Between the Ropes. Once again, this is episode three, I think officially episode three. Thanks for coming back. I hope you guys are enjoying it. With me, as always, the man, the myth, the legend, Jeff. Don't call me Huffman. Huffington, not Huff. Huffman. Huff, don't call me Huffington. Huffman. What's going on, douche? <laughs> not much. How about you? I am living large, as you can see. Well, you can't see me. Hey, were you able to hear the um, the theme today? No, I was not. Hmm. I lost you on video for some reason. Yeah, I was just flashing my. Uh, oh yeah, much picture. respect, Oscar for Oscar Tavares. What a what a tragedy. Yeah. What a tragedy, man. It's unbelievable. Just a kid. Yep. Just a kid. I can't call him that because he was older than me. But yeah, no, like that's why I like two e- getting older. Two <laughs> years, but. So all right, what has yeah. been going on? Have you been enjoying wrestling this week? Yeah. 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 It's okay. There's actually been a lot going on this week. There's been a lot of rumors. Uh, Raw was uh, SmackDown, which we're about to get into, was kind of, uh, you know. Yeah. So, uh, let's start there, shall we? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into SmackDown for this week. I think it started off, um, I guess, the, the dark match, uh, dark thing, whatever, we didn't get to see on television. The big show uh, came out and. Announced to the world for some reason that it was Big Show of all people. Announcing that Daniel Bryan will be having, once again, another elbow surgery, which is not good news. Now, there's all this been, uh, there's been all of this other talk that this might actually be it for Daniel Bryan now. Like, done. Dunsville. Dunzo. It's over, man. Say goodbye. Yeah, that'd be a shame. Wouldn't it? I mean, he, I mean he's what, like 31, 32, something like that? I'm not sure. Yeah. And uh, early 30s, and his career in WWE is you know, uh, been good, but I mean, he hasn't been around all that long, just, it just started to take off, too. And... Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate, uh, but you know, these things happen, and I'm I'm not really worried about his elbow, I'm worried about his friggin' neck, yeah, you know, because he's a little guy. But you know, we'll see. I, I don't see him coming back. I, that's just, I don't know, I just got a gut feeling about this. I don't know. He's going to go home and make little Bellas. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. If I had to guess, he's going to go home and make a bunch of little Bellas. A bunch of ugly children, probably. But that's okay. A bunch of ugly ch- Yeah. <laughs> so the actual start of the episode, what they, they kicked it off with the Diva Halloween Costume Battle Royal. Which, actually, I thought wasn't horrible. Yeah, I, you know... Usually is a hell of a lot worse, but you know what? I kind of like the costumes, and who really saved it was AJ Lee on commentary. Yeah, Paige dressed up as Summer Rae was great, oh, too. Okay. I, re- I, You know what? I'm glad you brought that up, because I loved how much personality we got to see from Paige. That was pretty funny. Yeah, she showed a lot of personality and a lot of uh, stuff I didn't know she had. You know, I thought she was mm. kind of one-dimensional. Now, I understand in NXT she... Played a different character. She was like the anti diva and all that stuff, and that's cool. But mm-hmm. I, I like what she's. Uh, I like what she's doing. She's exploring new realms of crazy. And, yeah, and that's kind of cool. And AJ was just tearing up the the, the commentary. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Uh, real yeah, quick. There goes se- there goes sexy diva Dudley. <laughs> sexy diva. Real quick, I, before I, we I get too far into it, I, I, since we brought up commentary, I just want to talk about that real quick, and I won't bring it up again. Fuck, the commentary was horrible. Aside from AJ, Michael Cole mm-hmm. sucking the network's dick during matches. And, yeah. And, and the other dude, Byron, whatever the hell his name is. Tom Phillips. Is that who it is? Tom Phillips? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think so, Byron's yeah. the other guy. Uh, yeah, well. Tom Phillips. Yeah, he, him trying to call matches, trying to, to throw in, you know. Oh, he couldn't get a word in. He couldn't. He couldn't. And when he did, it just seemed like. It was an afterthought, like oh, the collar and collar and elbow tie up, Man, like it was an afterthought, and it was just—it's re- not his fault. I don't blame no. Tom Phillips. So, 
So, I don't know. That was something I just wanted to throw out there, just how bad the commentary is getting. And I know we've mm-hmm. hit on that before, but my God. So, anyway, back to the uh, Battle Royal, which was won by Nikki Bella, which I guess should not be much of a surprise. Uh, it seemed like she was going to be the one getting a push after everything that just happened with her yeah. star. But uh, did you notice Natalia in the match? The little moves she was uh, pulling off. She was she was really athletic during the match. Yeah, I mean yeah, she's she always good. good. Yeah, but yeah, who stood out for you in the match? Who stood out for me? I I just couldn't get over Paige dressed up as Summer Rae. I thought that was great. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I thought that was pretty good. I like the end spot too. I liked. Uh, uh, yeah, Alicia. how they took each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's pretty interesting that they uh, decided to further. It looks like they're going to further their feud, which is cool. So really, we got three feuds going on in the diva division right now, which I can't remember the last time that was happening. You know, yeah. we, we still got uh, Nikki now going after the title with AJ. She's got her thing with Bree, and now we got this lovely little brew. Um, feud going with uh, Alicia Fox and uh, Paige. So, I don't know. Is there some light at the end of the tunnel of the Divas division? Possibly. You think? Possibly. I, it, I mean, I mean, it, it's looking a lot better than it has been the last couple of years. That's true. That's true. And there's a lot of talent down on NXT. And there's weird rumors of, uh, like, Mickey James thinking about coming back. I don't know if WWE will take her back. But that I'd was, like to see. I like to see her back because I really liked her. Yeah, it, it all really comes down to if they're gonna let her keep going on her country music career. I guess that's really important. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't know. I have no idea. So that was yeah, that was a decent match. Nikki Bella wins it, so she's the new number one contender. I kind of find it funny that they decided to have a battle royal, a costume battle royal, to determine the number one contender. But hey, what, however we get there, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, and Nikki has been better in the ring recently, so I'd like to. I'm actually a little bit excited she, to see. She has a. She's like watchable. Yeah, it's, it's watchable. Yeah, better. I, I'm. I'm using better as a very relative term here because she's been so horrible. And she, I do like her. I do like her finisher. Yeah, the rack attack. I like it because it draws. Uh, you know some notice onto them big old boobies, even though it's, you know, she's putting right. them in the rack and then dropping them. But still, it's all about <laughs> the boobies. Those boobies, my God. Yeah, they're paid for, but they're magnificent. They're magnificent. Okay, so after that, uh, the authority come out, and for some reason now, Joey Mercury and Jamie Noble seem to be a very, very big part of the authority. I get it, they're supposed to be the Stooges, but honestly, I could do without them. I don't know if you feel I, the same on that. I don't, I don't like them. I don't hate them. Yeah, just kind of indifferent to the whole thing, huh? <laughs> they're, the, they're, they're there. They're there. I mean, I mean, the last thing I remember about uh, Jamie Noble is him getting absolutely destroyed on the floor by Sheamus. Yeah. And Joey Mercury, he got the ladder coming up in his face. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I have that match, too, on DVD. Yeah, sometimes when I just need to be like, oh, I just put that on and... Watch his face, period, because that was uh, pretty fucking intense. Yeah, whenever somebody tells me that wrestling is 100% fake, I'll go back and show them that clip right there. Right? My God, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. So, yeah, the authorities out there, and they give this weird promo, which we've heard a thousand times, and it wasn't weird because of what they were saying. It was weird because the way Seth Rollins was delivering his promo I this guy confuses me more than any new star in wrestling right now. Like he'll I, have a good promo and then he'll have one where he just completely tanks. Yeah, completely misses the mark. Completely misses the point. Uh, it, it's not really the content. It was just the way he was delivering it. It was just weird. It was robotic, and he was throwing in these weird manic laughs in there, and it just wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, I'm noticing he's doing that a lot more now. That weird laugh. Yeah. A robotic laugh, ha 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 ha. Yeah, and I don't know if he's just trying to like make fun of us. I don't know. I, it's a very weird situation. Are you enjoying that soda? So if, if seems like it's, <laughs> it's my it's my one soda of the week. <laughs> uh, it's co- it's co- it's Coke Zero. It's my uh, one soda oh my I have God. a week. I haven't drank soda in a very long time. It's part of the reason why I lost a lot of weight, which I know is hard to tell out there for all you. No, watching. that's good. 
That's good. I don't. I haven't had a regular soda since eighth grade. Jesus, man, you're a rail though. My God. Maybe drink a few sodas. It, do yeah. it now because when you get older, you can't eat or drink shit. No, you. Everything I drink now, other than the one soda a week, consists of uh, water, a little bit of milk, and I just had a case of it. Uh, the stuff I've been taking before I go to the gym. Ah, steroids. No. Oh, okay. Just just checking. I'm worried about you. I'm concerned for you. No, no, no juice. It's no, good. no, ste- no steroids. Okay, that's good. Let's let's stay off the juice. It's not good. It's not good. So yeah, Rollins was very strange. It was just, um, I don't know. I, it's weird what he's going to be doing. And then they followed that up with Kane, you know, having another match with Ziggler. This time he actually uh, gets no. That- that that match wasn't horrible like Monday. Yes, man, my God, I'm glad they redid the match because I, we got to see it again. Because I was really worried that Kane just can't do anything, and Ziggler. Seemed... Actually, their match their match on Raw was actually the point where I fell asleep. Yeah, it was horrible. It was. I had to go back and rewatch the last two hours of Raw because yeah. I fell asleep during it. Yeah, it was horrible. He uh, that match was absolutely just it was it was terrible as uh, Charles Barkley would say it was. It was just fucking awful. And, you know, Ziggler seemed much more comfortable. And I'm going to actually give a little bit of blame for the Raw match to Ziggler because he did not look comfortable wrestling a guy the size of Kane. So what I'm ex- what, what I'm thinking happened is they, they went over the match a couple times throughout the week. Actually, it was the next night they, they do the SmackDown. So yeah. maybe not. I guess he just performed better the next night with him. I don't know. That was That was strange. Yeah. But it was a much better match. I agree with that. And then they had a, they had a Kane made a match with him and Rollins. Yep. Of course, that just consisted of Rollins curb stomping him. Yeah, I'm starting to but, really love that curb stomp. I, I just am. I am too. I am too. I am. Um, he, he is, say what he wants about his weird promos, but Rollins can go in the ring, and he he makes things look good. And that that curb stomp looks pretty damn good right now. So, yeah. So they continue to punish Ziggler. Which I'm not sure what the payoff for that's going to be. Is it going to be Ziggler losing the title once he once he completely decides to be on Cena's team? Is this a chance to make Ziggler go heel and not be on Ziggler's team? You know, there's a d- few different ways they can go here. Where do you think this is going? You could, have, I mean, you could have Ziggler as a face or heel. He's going to get cheered either way. Yeah. Yeah, it's very. True. Not, I'm not too crazy about Ziggler's music though. That's yeah. just me. It's kind of. Eh. I agree. I agree. It, it, it has that good at the very beginning to like get the crowd pop, but yeah. after that, yeah, it just sucks. Yeah, it's also the uh, same band that plays uh, Mrs. Oh, music. that's why it seems mediocre. Okay, that explains. I do like I do like Mrs. Music though. I, I like. I, I like it. There's hardly anything about the Miz I like outside of Ms. Dow. <laughs> <laughs> I just I cannot stand anything going on with the Miz right now. It's oh like, my god, Miz is oh, great. He is. Isn't he, he is. I mean, he. Uh, it it makes me laugh every time. Yeah, we'll get to that Miz TV segment in a moment. The uh, so yeah, Rollins squashes Ziggler, and yeah, so they're building that. Then Heath Slater comes out dressed as a fucking scarecrow. Uh, you know, which you know it's it, it's Halloween, so it's okay. Yeah. And then uh, he talks a little bit, gets cut off, and here comes the monster that is Ryback yet again. I'm so glad this guy's back. I love, I love, I love Ryback. I love Ryback. He's insane, like actually, which I love. I love the weird stuff he says. I love his tweets. Uh, I like his look. Yeah. I don't follow him on. I don't follow him on Twitter. I guess I'll have to start doing oh, that. That's hilarious. He's nuts. He's absolutely crazy. He, he's yeah, like it's a just mixture like a... of Goldberg and the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, it's just uh, like uh, Cronin said. I was, I said, I'll monetize this or the Raw review. But he was saying, like, just the stuff he says in the ring, just like the random words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what do you think about him being back to his Feed Me More gimmick? Do you think this is a, was a good move or desperation? I don't care either way. I like watching him. It was maybe a little bit of both, but, yeah, I, I, I much prefer him this way. And the crowd seems to be right into crowd it. Crowd buys it. Crowd buys into it. Yeah. 
Yeah, because the, the whole bully thing wasn't working, and then the, where he was just nothing when he was with Ry, uh, Curtis Axel, that wasn't working. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't real big on that. Yeah. And, and that's a shame, too, because where the hell is Curtis Axel? I like Curtis Axel. I really do. I I, I think he's a, a good young talent, and I love I like his him father. The, I like him in the ring. Yeah. They got to find a gimmick that works for him. Yeah, I think, I don't, I'm not too crazy about the gimmick, but I do like him in the ring. And, you know, his in-ring work, you know, makes me want to not fast forward. Yeah, so. yeah absolutely. You know, I, I think if they're going to have any homage to his father, they might as well just go balls out and call the kid Mr. Perfect. Fuck it. You know, perfect junior or, some, or, or some, something. Or some variation of it. Yeah. Uh, the the Curtis, you know, Kurt and, and Axel with uh, yeah. Larry the Axe heading. Uh, yeah, that's nice, but the gimmick just doesn't work. Uh, they need to figure out something for him because he's a, he's a good talent. He really is. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. So, yeah, Ryback squashes Heath. Uh, blah. You know, it was it was good. It was fun. Miz TV with Miz Dow and the Miz. Yes, I I said that correctly. Miz, Miz Dow, Dow is the is the actual headline of this act. I mean, every time they're together, we get we want Miz Dow. Yeah. We get Miz Dow chance. We don't get Miz chance. No, have we ever got Miz ch- chance? The Miz sucks ball sack. He's horrible. Absolutely horrible. He's okay. He, he he's okay. I don't I don't mind him. Oh God, I do. Uh, he doesn't make me. He doesn't make me want to change the channel. No, but he makes me want to punch him in his face. I mean, like when I see his face, I just want to punch him. Punch well, that's him. that's good. I mean, that's his whole thing. The money maker. Uh, no, he guards it, his face and he's... like day one. Just always wanted to punch him right in his little suck hole. <laughs> Ugh, I can't stand that guy. But yeah, so they have their little Miz TV and they uh, bring out Mark Henry. Who cares? <laughs> uh, I I don't understand. I, him, I, him and Big Show. Him and Big Show are going through a breakup. Yeah, and they they menstruate in the ring for a while, and then the Big Show comes in and they brawl and blah blah blah. Now we're gonna get a match at some point. Who gives a shit? I guess it's a good that they're doing something with each other, so they're not doing anything else with someone who actually matters. Yeah. You know, I don't know. What do you think about this situation? Does does it register at all? Do you, do you give any of a little bit of a fuck? No, not really, because then we went through this a couple of years ago when they were going after the world title. Yeah, and it didn't work then. It ne- they broke the ring. <laughs> you know, it, what's funny is in the 80s, this would have put butts in the seats. This would have sold mm-hmm. tickets. But we don't want to see it no more. We, nobody wants to see two monsters go like that go after, especially old slow no i think the thing that, i think another thing that hurts it is because you didn't have mark henry go on like a very long epic title run you know the world's strongest man yeah his whole you, gimmick you, is you, kind you, of flawed yeah you'd think he'd kind of have a long title reign you would think you, or at least hold a couple more world titles like big show has any titles any titles i mean put some fucking gold on this man I mean, if you want to legitimize him as an actual fucking threat, you need to do something with him and not and stop having him be fodder every time you need Brock Lesnar or someone to look strong. And, yeah, I mean, a couple of years ago, I was really happy when they finally put the title on Mark Henry. I will say this for 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 Ms. Arc. Uh, his <laughs> promos are fantastic. <laughs> I, I, I love his talking. Yeah, uh, I can actually tolerate him talking. When they let the guy just talk, mm-hmm. it's it's really good. He's not horrible. He's not horrible. But his in ring ability, and couple that with the non ability that is the Big Show, and you just got a recipe for disaster. That's it's horrible. Nothing special about Henry's in ring work, which I think you know would better suit him as a heel. Yeah, and you don't have. He doesn't have to be like this guy that just you know runs and ducks the fighting. Just have him be a jerk. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I I don't like like how pretty much every heel is like they duck and run. Just have him be a jerk. Just like Wade asshole. Barrett. Like like Wade Barrett. Yeah, yeah. Just be a dick. Just be a dick. There's nothing. You don't you don't have to make every one of them run and hide. Yep. Just have him be a jerk. So after that little debacle. 
uh, we got an interesting twist to the tag team division. Out of nowhere, Los Matadors defeat Golden Stardust in a non-title match. That surprised me. Now, granted, they kind of did it in a heel fashion because the little midget was running around the ring doing little midgety things. Mm-hmm. Like but, he does every other time. Yeah, but still, yeah, that was surprising. Uh, I guess Los Matadors and Golden Stardust in, in, in a little bit of a thing together. I don't know that that I don't know it, because Los Matadors so it's, have it's, done it's, nothing. No, they. I mean, they did face three MB five hundred and two <laughs> times yeah. the last year, which I actually saw last October. Oh, you saw it live. Lucky yeah, that was the, it. Was the it was the night when uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust beat the Shield for the tag titles? That oh, was awesome. That was. That was, yeah, and you know the crowd was only half full because you had the Cardinals in the playoffs. Oh, that's right. That's right. I mean, but I mean, the crowd was was ridiculously hot when they won the tag titles. It was loud in there, and it was only half full. Yep. Same with when Daniel Bryan came out. Same way. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I just don't know. Obviously, we're not going to get a Los Matadors title reign, right? I mean, that's that's not going to happen, is it? No, you're going to have to change something about them. I, I, I don't know. They don't. I don't find them too interesting. What I'm thinking is they don't have anybody else that they want to throw at them. They can't keep throwing the Usos, and they're still not. They're waiting for all of the tape w, uh, NXT segments with the Ascension to air. I've, I've heard a lot of stuff about them. Like I said, I don't have the WWE Network because, yeah. one, one I, you know, nothing makes me want to buy it at this point. And, two, I don't have time. Yeah, I don't blame you. But the, the Ascension is a hell of a tag team. But they have – they tape their NXTs just like you know TNA does like uh, four or five weeks in advance. And right now they're in a – program with um Hideo Itami which was uh what's his name yeah I know who you're talking about yeah, um the, the Japanese import that they were all excited about I can't I, remember, I, I, can't feel, remember like, I feel like I feel like an idiot now because I knew it and I now I can't remember I well, can't I know his name now is Hideo Itami yeah so, him and uh now they're adding in the former Prince DeVitt, and he's got a stupid new name in NXT that I can't remember. Uh, it's it's weird. It's a strange name, and I can't remember it. And I, it doesn't matter at this point. But, yeah, so I think once those episodes are finished airing, then the Ascension will come up, and I think that'll be the next logical thing to do. And then you can fill, maybe fill that, fill that entire three hours of Raw? Yeah, maybe, right? I mean, geez. You would think with some of these kids that are getting ready to come up, with Neville and Sami Zayn, uh, Ascension, hopefully Charlotte from the, the Divas division. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll get some new things going. There's some, there's some kids who can go down there. If you find another way to watch NXT, I would highly suggest doing so because it's entertaining. Mm-hmm. It's, it is the best pure wrestling program on television right now, which I guess is not saying much, but still. Yeah. So after that strange little curveball in the tag team division, Rusev comes out and squashes the great Kali, and then he cuts a promo. But before we get to the promo, does do you think it just has to suck to be the great Kali? Oh my God! Yeah. I just feel horrible for this guy. He's he he's a, basically a fucking ghoul. He's a mutant. You know, he's got a weird elephant man like face. He looks like uh, Rocky Dennison. From uh, the, from Mask. I think you're too young for that movie. Great, yeah. <laughs> you're like what? Yep. <laughs> Great movie. Great movie. Uh, and he's just he, he can't do anything in the ring. Everything looks terrible that he does. His stupid little chop. He can't walk. <sighs> and Rusev squat. I mean, it's just they just have him there to sell to sell stuff and you know to get by in India. You know, just there was a stuff. time where this guy was gonna be it. You know, people were thinking he was gonna be the next. And he came in. He came in and he beat the freaking Undertaker. Yeah, and then he had a, a he had a pretty a fairly long program with Cena too. Yeah, he uh, held the world title. Yep. 
Didn't he win that in the Battle Royal? Was it a Battle I Royal? I don't know, because it was right before... It was about a year before I started watching, because I oh, started God. a couple weeks before the Royal Rumble in 08. Anybody watching, please go ahead and put that in the comments below and correct us. When did the Great Kali win the title, and how did he do it? Let's get a little I believe he, I believe he won in a Battle Royal. And then he went on a little feud with uh, Batista, yeah. I believe. Because I would watch stuff when I after I started watching, I would uh, you know watch stuff on YouTube Man. from like years past. I remember that horrible, weird Punjabi prison match he had with Big Show. It was supposed to be the Undertaker. It was Undertaker and Big Show. Yeah, but and then I think Kali and Batista. Hurt. I think Kali and Batista have one too. There were there was two of those god awful matches. There were two that I know of. Oh God! I thought there was only one. I'm almost, it, Undertaker and Big Show, and then Kali and Batista. I don't know which one happened first. I would assume Kali and Batista was first. I don't remember. But... I know Kali was in the first one. So that was Kali and Batista. I, I thought it was Kali Big Show. I don't remember at this point. And obviously, it didn't matter that much because the fucking matches sucked. Kali is terrible, and I, why pay him? They, they, you think they're either paying him just a small little amount or, like, they're just paying him in fucking curry or something. I have no idea. I have no clue. Like I said, um, actually, Chris Tosovich a, a couple months ago called into a Raw review. I asked, uh, you know, what's the point of having the great Kali? And he said, you know, just to, like, sell to India. Yeah. Too bad he's dead. Too bad that guy's dead. <laughs> A sad, sad fucking thing. So well, Rusev he, squashes him, yeah, and then he get, goes on a promo, which is probably the biggest thing that happened on SmackDown. To be honest, the most important thing that happened on SmackDown was this promo, because Rusev said, "You know what? Time to, for fucking around is done." Sheamus, I come for you. I come for United States I, title. I crush you. I crush you. So that's that's an interesting turn because I know Joe Cronin and myself, Jesse, none of us really thought that was going to happen because they protect Sheamus. And I don't see how they're – unless unless after all this build, they're going to have Sheamus stop Rusev, which that makes That would be no stupid. Sense. Yeah, no sense. Sheamus doesn't need the title. He does not need the United States Heavyweight title. Put him in the he gives it. title event. You know, something. Sheamus, Sheamus gives the title somewhat legitimacy. Yeah, I guess. I guess, but, I mean, I would like to see the U.S. title be put on a younger star to help build their legitimacy, you know, and I guess, what, like, I what? guess that's what they're doing. I guess they're transitioning from a guy who's who's been a, a star to a guy who needs that rub. Maybe that's what they're doing. Well, like, what, what would you think of, like, all these titles – they would have like a set ranking system they would show like every week, yeah. like where every superstar ranks in route to the title. Yeah. Well, they used to do that. Uh, not in WWE, but WCW did it early on. Uh, Didn't we, TNA do something like that? TNA did it, uh, and it was horribly done, just like most things that happened in TNA. Uh, it was well, just, yeah. they ignored it. They, they, T- they would well, keep T- talking about TNA it. TNA doesn't count. TNA doesn't count. Yeah, that's true. They don't, that's they don't true. count. The, the, their bad decisions just keep on piling up. Uh, aside from the, the Kurt Angle resign that looks imminent, now it looks like they're staying on Spike possibly next year as well, which doesn't okay. make sense for them. It doesn't make sense for Spike. Why would Spike want to keep TNA when they're drawing? This week they drew a point seven, a point seven nine or some shit. They're in the point sevens, Jeff. Explain to me. Help me understand this craziness. Please make sense of the madness that is happening in the world. I I, I got no words oh, for you. you. Got nothing. Oh. I got no words for you. What am I people are stupid. Yeah. People are stupid. It's like the, it's like people have money allergies. It's like people have an allergic reaction to cold hard cash. It's fucking bizarre. I don't. I would like some more of it. Fucking ain't right. I'm in a basement. Send me some money. I need some cash. Fuck. Yeah, so Rusev going after the United States title. I think we're in agreement. That seems to be a good move. Uh, Have him win the title, maybe turn it into the Russian title. That'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think that's definitely coming. Uh, that, that, is, that, that definitely can Not- go some weird places. 
Now, I think we were talking about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, who would you have finally beat Rusev? Well, I think two weeks ago I said Kurt Angle because I thought I really did think he was That's coming not gonna back. Happen. That's not happening. Um, from what I understand, the plan, and I guess this kind of makes sense, is for Cena to stop him at WrestleMania. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, do you do you, do you feed him to an established star, or do you build him up to finally get stopped by another up and coming young star? I'd like to see a young up and coming star. That way, when he finally beats him, you know they could have some. Uh, what's what's the word for it? Whoever beats Rusev, they can have some uh, you know tension rub, yeah. for years for years to come. Like oh, that'll yeah, always yeah, be there. Absolutely, the... absolutely. But who would it be? I mean. Who do they got? That, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a real tough question. Uh, I mean, what? all the all the they already had they already had them lose had a Big E lose to them. I like Big E. Yeah, I wish they would come on and do this angle with uh, the young black guys, you know, with Xavier Woods and and Kofi and Big E. I, I wish they would come on and do that because they're wearing the same outfits now. Let's go ahead and get them together and throw our truth in there too. Fuck it, he ain't doing shit. He had a weird. He turn was playing heel. kind of a little bit heelish on SmackDown, by the way. I too. Turn turn our truth crazy heel like a couple years ago. That was awesome. Yes, I agree. And he got a he got a title match out of it. He did. He did that. The, that whole promo he did when he was talking about going <laughs> going after the title in the ladder match. If I I gotta climb a ladder and if I get up there. And there's spiders in that briefcase. <laughs> then the grit's gonna hit the fan. Oh my god! Yeah, that oh was great. My. He was just so weird. And then they just killed it. Then they turned it into a little Jimmy merchandise marketing thing, and that was stupid. What a shame! It just what a shame. But that's what they yeah. do. That's what they do. They they constantly draw drop the ball. It's ball droppers all around WWE. So yeah, uh, you know who I to answer your question though. I think um, if it's not going to be Cena and it's not going to be a star that we don't know of yet that beats Rusev, I think ultimately someone like Ryback kind of makes a little bit of sense. Possibly, yeah, yeah. yeah that's where I'm at on it too. So next we got another promo. Uh, Bray Wyatt comes out and cuts a promo, and which is uh, basically him telling the world that him and Dean Ambrose are the same. I wish he would go into "I'm the eater of worlds." I I, I love that shit. I love that man. He's a, he's creepy yeah. and serialistic. I, I love the guy. I like it. He can say you know. I'm going to go brush my teeth in some weird voice, and I'll probably like it just from the way he talks. Hey, man, when I get up in the morning, I brush my teeth. <laughs> I, I like I like Bray Wyatt a lot. Somebody asked if I was Bray Wyatt because apparently I look like Bray Wyatt. I, I don't think yeah. so. I don't have the beard or the long hair anymore. I used to, maybe a little bit, but. I look nothing like Bray Wyatt. I, I'm I'm a motherfucking gangster is what I look like. Yeah. Darth Vader re- representing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we got the promo. Um, they're building up this match between him and Ambrose, which I'm really looking forward to. Mm-hmm. That should be great. And then speaking of Ambrose, we got the main event, him and Cesaro in a trick or treat fight. Trick or street fight. That's what they called it. Yeah, it was. Eh. It was gimmicky. It was spot filled. There was comedy. It was okay. uh, I think Cesaro had to piss somebody off because he lost in two straight falls to Ziggler in a two out of three falls match, which I don't think I've ever seen happen in the history of wrestling. I don't think I've ever seen a man lose two, yeah, two out of falls in those. Yeah, it always I, goes like, how, how did that? How did how did they? How did each fall occur? Because obviously, I didn't see it. Yeah, uh, it was. Zigzag. I assume one by zigzag. I think it was a roll up and a zigzag. Because I missed the match as well, to be completely honest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it was. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. You know, with him, they got like different people seeing over him every week. Like one person loves him and one person hates him. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's weird because he had this he for the last few months he's been going after the intercontinental title he's gone after the united states championship and nothing has worked out and now he's being just beaten up by ambrose basically at the end of the match putting the halloween or the pumpkin on his head it was just weird and um Change his music. His music sucks. Oh, I know. You know, he might be the first and the, you know, guy. The, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, and the one good thing he had about his theme was the horn he had before he had this the stupid horn he's got now. Yeah. yeah. Like the actual, the actual, I don't know, uh, what some kind of city siren or something. I, I can't think of. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And now they got the little stupid gay French police <laughs> horn. Yeah, it's stupid. Stupid. I don't know. It's 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 a strange uh, thing they're doing with him. Doesn't really seem to make sense. Cesaro is much better than this. He deserves better. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess he he made some comments recently about how stale some of the matchups are now. How, how he's excited that younger guys are coming up and new matchups are being formed. And he made reference to Cena and Orton being, you know, who wants to see Cena Orton for the 500th time? And he's right. And I don't know if he's catching heat for those comments, but it certainly seems that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, my God, this guy, I feel bad for him because he's... By the way, I love it when uh, Orton just goes nuts. Yeah, we need more insanity from just Randy Orton, just he, random cases. He'll... Heel or face, you can have them either way. Just have them go nuts. Just have them go crazy. Fuck it. Who cares? They might as well. What else they got him doing now? I mean, Nothing. they got. I mean, you, they're gonna. They, he's pretty much turned face now. I mean, because yeah. you got, also got all the RKO vines going going all over the place. For all intents and purposes, actually, yeah, he's he's face. Actually, did you see did you see the RKO vine where the, there was these two kids? It was kids in high school. Like yes. one kid was like sneaking up behind. Yeah, was like doing the little, doing the little thing he does on the <laughs> ground. He just jumps up and RKO's this kid on the like the tile floor. Oh yeah. my god, that was great. that was great. Did you see the soccer one? The uh, soccer celebration. The, the action. There was, they did a soccer. Oh yeah, celebration yeah. I saw that. I saw that too. Where a guy actually RKO'd another. That was funny. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's it's silly, but I like it and. I love it. Yeah, it's funny. I'd like to see more out of Orton. I'm obviously we're gonna get at some point we're getting Rollins and, and Orton. Don't know when. It is yeah. You know, here's a question: with this Survivor Series matchup, I believe it's gonna be five on five. If if it's a traditional Survivor Series match, it'll be five on five. If that's the case, who is on the authorities team? Because really, they've only got two guys. They got, got Rollins, Rollins and Kane. Kane. Rollins and Kane. Are they going to have the That's Stooges? Good... Probably not. They'll probably have them floating around. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a really good question. Yeah. I mean, everyone's talking Wait. about Cena's team. Who's going to be on the Authority's team? I mean, I guess if logically, I guess they're. Tr- I maybe that's why they're having. Uh, Noble and Mercury on camera because it's those four and it's supposed to be Orton as the fifth, which obviously is not going to work. Do you throw Triple H in there? I I, I don't know. I it's I don't know. See, I was going to say maybe to throw Golden Stardust on there, but now that since they just lost uh, yeah. Los Matadores, I mean that I don't know if that'll happen. It's got to happen sooner or later. And I have to, I have to assume they're going to turn officially turn Orton face because Survivor Series is here. And Survivor Series Louis. is his event. Yes, it's, and it's here in St. And it's here in St. Louis, which oh, I'm not it? going it to. It is in St. Louis. That's right. Because tic- I looked at ticket prices. I'm just like, no, no, not happening. Nope, not, not, not a hundred bucks for like one ticket. I'm like, no. I might want to check StubHub. I might want to check I StubHub. Might. Yeah, I mean, I might. I'd, li- I'd like to. I'd like to go. Yeah. I re- I would really. Yeah, but Orton, for Cena, uh, who, who are you going to have for Cena's team? You're going to have Cena, Ziggler. I would think the Usos. Yeah, they're not doing anything. And, and then Orton. I'm thinking Orton's going to be the fifth guy uh, for for Cena. Or he's going to he's going to turn on the Authority at that's Survivor possible. Series. Uh, what I'm thinking another possibility is it's going to be a five on one Cena beatdown. 
or not a beatdown, but I mean Cena is going to be in five on one and Super Cena is going to prevail. I'm thinking something like that is uh, you cannot put that past the WWE at this point. No. Or you know what? Here's an idea. How about you have uh, the, you know this week on Raw. They bury uh, Ziggler again, and Ziggler says, fuck it, John, I can't be your partner. It's just, it's like, take the title off of Ziggler, and Ziggler just loses fucking mind. I can't do it, John. And and everybody else kind of turns their back on Cena. And then the next week, Cena brings out NXT kids and says, "You you can't punish these guys. That would be pretty cool. That's something. That's something. I don't know. It's it's a very strange situation they find themselves in because, honestly, what, how many spots is that? Seven of the spots in this match, I have no idea who's going to be in the match. No clue. Yeah. No clue. So that wraps it up for SmackDown. So let's talk about a few of the, uh, the, the interesting little rumors that's going on this week. What have you heard? You heard anything good this week? Uh, you know, no, nothing really, nothing too exciting. Yeah. Well, there's the, the, the TNA stuff, which I find interesting. Uh, all the, all the rumors that are going on with TNA with, I don't care about TNA. Yeah, me either, but they're there. You know I mean? I'm trying to bring up my, my rumors and they're not coming up. Son of a bitch. I hate you. Nope. That's not it either. Uh, uh, so yeah, there's a few things that happened throughout the week that i found it oh by the way it is bobby heenan's 70th birthday today happy birthday the brain that's something i don't know know so uh let's see they got the kurt angle thing him going to, to to tna it looks like this is really not many other good spoilers to talk about, or any uh, no. other, other more really good rumors. So, what was the best the uh, the best you saw this week? Raw or SmackDown? The best. Uh, they were both about the, about the same. Oh, I thought SmackDown I, was infinitely better I thought, than Raw. I thought SmackDown was be- better just from the simple fact that I didn't fall asleep. Yeah, that's a positive. That's a positive. Staying awake is definitely a, a positive. I would say. Yeah. So, yeah, um, well, so this week we had what? We had Hell in a Cell, we had Raw, and we had SmackDown. You didn't see NXT, shame, shame. We had a title change on uh, TNA, which nobody gave a shit about. So that was the week that was. So what are you looking for this? What would you like to see? If you're booking a match on Raw, what do you want to see happen on Raw this week? Anything in particular? Well, I'd like to, you know, see like what kind of direction they're going with that Tag team match, because yeah. right now I got no clue where they're going with that. Yeah. Uh, what would I like to see? I'd like to see something that's not going to put me to sleep. There that's all. Go. That's it. There that's it. Go. The the bar is not set high in Jeff's world. Just don't put him to fucking sleep. Don't put that exactly. million dollar dream on the Huffman because it's not cool. Yeah, that's about all I've got, too. I mean, uh, there's really not much more to, to go on. Uh, where can all the children out there find you on the interwebs? Uh, well, i got a YouTube channel myself, youtube.com slash GrandSlam87. Uh, pretty much all the stuff uh, through the last week has been nothing short of a cry fest yeah. because of uh, Oscar Tavares, who tragically died in a car crash. I, I don't even think that's sunk in yet. Really? Yeah, it, it, you know, I'm glad you brought it up. I know we kind of touched on it earlier, but that was, God, man. I mean, 22, this, stud. Uh, this dude was going to. This dude was going to be the next Albert Pujols. Well, he was going to be a great player. I, I don't know if he was going to be on, the next Albert on Pujols. and off, on and off the field. He seemed like he was going to be a good kid. There's no question about that. It's just God, man. It, it, this has to rate up there as one of the his his swing was just gorgeous. I, I mean, look at it. Look at that swing. <laughs> a little that bit is of a rocky uh, rocky season now. That is just oh my god. Yeah, it affected it, you. It affected you quite. Yeah, quite I mean, quickly. like, did you see, did you see the picture of his car? Yeah, mangled. Oh my god, mangled. My God. 
And as far as I understand, there are no drugs or alcohol in that situation at all, correct? Alcohol, correct, which is, I guess... If you want to take something it a, from it... And, makes it and, makes it better. Yeah, it makes it a little easier, because at least he's not another one of these kids who had it all and threw it away for nothing, you know, so... Godspeed, Oscar yeah. Tavares. I mean, really. It's... Yeah, yeah dude, dude last year died in the exact same spot under the same conditions. Jesus, man. Yeah, so that's been re- What was the uh, name of that YouTube channel of yours? Uh, YouTube.com slash Grand Slam 87. And, uh, you know, after all the crying is done, you know, I obviously I pl- upload uh, MLB, NHL. Haven't really played Madden that much, but uh, yeah, also too. play some Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty, which new Call of Duty comes out Tuesday, and I will be getting that. The Advanced Warfighter thing or something? Advanced Warfare, yeah. A whole new year of different kind of rage. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah that'll be interesting. I, I, I'm dominating. I haven't, played, I haven't played Call of Duty in months just because Ghost sucks so bad. Oh, you're not a fan of Ghost, huh? Oh, my. No. I hate it. It's too easy. Too, too easy. easy. Yeah, I, I don't play those, so. That's yeah, completely out of my realm. I, I like I'm so bored right now. I've I've gone back to Borderlands too. That's what I. In yeah. fact, I got a game paused just so I could do the show. <laughs> I paused it and then so yeah, that's what I'm about to go back. Yeah. To. Also, if uh, you want to find me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is also at Grand Slam eighty seven, and uh, also and my PlayStation ID is also at Grand Slam eighty seven. If you want to play uh, play some games with me on PlayStation four, and also if uh, if you're looking to get in shape and stuff. You know, you can get in touch with me on that. I also got uh, some products I use that the they're, the price is just absolutely incredible with the amount of quality it gives you. Uh, I got 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 this right here. Uh, this I'm not monetizing. Muscle. Go ahead and plug. Okay, good. Uh, so uh, if you know th- what this does, it gives you it supports muscle tone, and then like not even like probably two months, I've got the six pack. Pretty much showing right now. Never had that before. And I also got some uh, energy stuff. It's called Spark. What it does, it gives you energy throughout the day with no jitters or crash. And it actually, it also enhances your mental focus, too. And, like, yeah. I can just remember stuff throughout the day. Like, most stuff I would forget. I just, I, I'm locked in. You know, I, and, I'm really glad that you're doing well with all this stuff. But I, I have to say that you're 20 isn't that enough of a supplement, the fact that you're a young stud buck? You know what I mean? Isn't that enough? You need all these supplements? No. I mean, I don't play <laughs> I, don't, I don't play hockey anymore, hockey competitively anymore. So, I mean, I got to do what I can to do what I can to stay in shape. And also, this stuff is uh, 100%. You know, it, it will not hurt you. That's good. 100%. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I, I'm fat. I feel I just looking at you makes me feel worse about myself. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna go cry Sorry. as I eat a cheesecake. My God. <laughs> Ugh. No, but it's good. But if yeah, you want to yeah. get healthy, he's the man to talk to. Yeah. If you if you wanna if you wanna find find out some more about the stuff that I got, I could talk to you more about it. Because if I if we got into this now, we'd be here for like. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. <laughs> and football's getting ready to start, and I promised I'd get you out of here before football started. Yeah, i gotta, I got to go watch the Rams. Well, you can Please. because you also are doing another show tonight, if I'm not mistaken. You're doing uh, Shot from the Point with our good friends over there from Shot from the Point, Tommy C. and yes. Jake Link. You are doing your news thing, thing a thing Oh, I'll, thing. I'll have the football game on right here next to me. I'll be watching <laughs> it. Yeah, so you guys will be doing good things over Actually, there. Actually, I, th- I think they play Shot later today because they're in San Francisco. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, so you got that. And then me, uh, follow me on Ooh. Twitter at uh, Dead on Dave V. And, of course, right here, The Dead on Dave, the YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, share, make us famous, bitches. Leave comments in below. I got to give you guys a shout-out. The guys, everybody that's been down in the comment section from last week's and uh, this week's little rumor roundup that I did, thank you for the comments. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I read every single one of them. I try to respond to as many as I can. 
I absolutely love it. You guys are great. Some of the most knowledgeable wrestling fans I've ever talked to. I'm just sucking your dick now. But the reality is I love having you guys around. It's great. And I got to thank Joe Cronin, man, because all this is coming. We we met because of Joe Cronin. Everything has happened Mm -hmm. because of the Joe Cronin universe. And a lot of these people who are watching came from there. So you can catch me doing doing my thing with Joe Cronin on Monday nights, the Raw review every pay-per-view, and monetize this every Wednesday night at midnight. So you got anything else for the children before we get out of here, Jeff? No, that's about it. That's all I got, too. Thanks, as always, folks, for uh, checking us out. Come back next week. Tell your friends. Like, subscribe. Make us famous. Till next week, we're out, bitches. See ya. And the outro is playing. Okay. Stay right there for a second. I got to pee like none other.